What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Movie Rays. Spoilers for Downton Abbey 2 ahead. After the premiere of Downton Abbey A New Era, Julian Fellows hinted at a continuation. Sadly, the third installment will be without Dame Maggie Smith. But let's get into more details, shall we? Have you told them, Lady Grantham? She's told us nothing. Do sit down. I've come into possession of a villa. A New Era. What seems like an eternity, the much-anticipated sequel to the 2019 film is finally here. But fans of the series are kind of disappointed by the sequel's ending. The second part premiered on April 29th in the UK, and the theatrical release in the US is set for May 20th, 2022. Now, let's talk about the future of Downton. If the sequel proves to be a major success, meaning if it's anything like its predecessor, we should expect to see yet another film continuation. A continuation that will feel different than what we're used to seeing from Fellows. Thankfully, the creator already talked about a potential third film, and based on what he said, there's a huge possibility for the story to continue. So far, the reviews for the sequel are positive, with the second film being referred to as the film for fans only. And those who haven't seen it know that this is not something you should suggest to someone that has never seen the series. The sequel is instead a form of closure for fans who have been invested in the characters ever since 2010. A new era is split into two storylines, one of them being about the Crawley family visiting the French Riviera, and the other one about a film crew that has politely asked the Crawleys to use their household for a movie. The Crawleys agree, but not as a generous gesture. They ask for a lot of money in order to let the crew use a beautiful estate. The family goes to France because Lady Violet informs them that she inherited a villa there, a gift from a man she had an affair with when younger. To settle the matter, Violet's family decides to go there and see what exactly is going on. Meanwhile, the film crew is working on their film with Lady Mary, making sure they don't wreck out the estate. Roll the camera and action. The continuation. As aforementioned, Fellows has already talked about the possibility of yet another film. In an interview with Radio Times Magazine, Downton creator said he's not sure because every time he says, that's it, we're done, they again come back for more. You never know if more is going to be wanted. After every series, after the first film, and now after the second, each time I have a heart-wrenching goodbye to these people. And then, here we are back again. He said that if people want another film, if fans show enough interest in another project, there will be one. If that's what people want, then I won't fight it, he explains in another interview. Michelle Dockery said that she would love to come back to her role. In her own words, I've loved playing Mary and it does feel like I've grown up with her. There is such a comfort in that feeling of family. Well, guys, it all depends on how many people will watch the sequel and, of course, the reviews. Unlike most creators nowadays, Fellows does care about what critics think of his project. The thing is, if there is a continuation indeed, it would be much different than the previous two films and the series. The point in death that was promised to get featured in the sequel broke many hearts, and sadly, we lost the fan favorite character that was part of the reason Downton was so successful. No more of Violet Crawley. The actress that practically made Downton so famous will no longer return to reprise her role as Violet Crawley. Sadly, her character dies in a new era. Fans who have already seen the film know that the sequel was really difficult to watch because of the scenes with Violet saying goodbye to her family and loyal servants. The Dowager made the show what it was with her perfect one-liners that we will never forget. The very ending of the first film indicated that we'll soon say goodbye to Violet. At the end of the film, she tells her granddaughter Mary that she suffers from an unknown illness. Thankfully, fans got the chance to find out a bit about Violet before she loses her life. The film reveals that she had been in love as a young woman with the Marquise du Montemurial, and the couple spent an entire summer on the French Riviera. But despite her love for Marquise, she married Robert's father, Lord Grantham. This doesn't mean she was unhappy in the marriage with Lord Grantham, quite the opposite. She says they managed to create a beautiful marriage and a wonderful family together. After she informs her family of the affair, Violet leaves Montemurial's villa to get her great-grandmother Sybil, Sibby Branson. Near the end of the sequel, viewers see the entire Crawley family and their servants paying the last visit to the fan favorite character. She then passes away peacefully. In one of the last scenes, we're seeing the entire cast of Downton following the hearse carrying her coffin to the funeral. We believe every single person shed a tear or two during these moments and we 
have to say that the 87-year-old actress's performance was perfect. But now that her character is dead, we're not sure how good a third film would be. It's not like the other characters don't deserve to be praised. They are also part of the reason Downton is so loved and successful. But a film without Violet would certainly feel… um… A bit empty? Don't you agree? Anyway, it all depends on fans, meaning that it's up to you whether there will be a continuation. Aside from Dame Maggie Smith, we have two other actors that are unlikely to return for the potential continuation. No more of Henry. Just like in the promotional footage for A New Era, Matthew Good was nowhere to be found in the sequel. He plays Henry, Lady Mary's husband, and he was notably absent from the film. Even during some pretty important events, the actor didn't appear and was due to a scheduling conflict with his television series The Offer. When The Offer premiered, Extra asked Good if he makes an appearance in a new era and he said, no, I was making this. The film explains Henry's absence with him traveling the world and enjoying his hobby of driving fast cars. It seems like his hobby is more important than his own life, but okay. If the actor adjusts his busy schedule, there's a possibility of him appearing in the third film. Perhaps the story of the continuation could follow his complicated marriage to Lady Mary, but if we're being completely honest, we feel like the actor simply didn't want to appear in the sequel. It just feels like he's not interested in Downton anymore, which only suggests he'll try to find a way to refuse to appear in the potential third film. Don't you think so? Since Henry is nowhere to be found in the second film, Mary's given a new love interest, film director Jack Barber, a character played by Hugh Dancy. Jack is clearly interested in Mary, but because she is married and loves her husband, she refuses to have anything to do with Jack. Can we just say that we really miss Mary's first husband, Matthew Crawley? He was certainly the one for Mary. Anyways, most fans were disappointed by Good's absence during some of the most important scenes in the sequel. For instance, there is the funeral of the Dowager Countess and Mary's husband decides to focus on his hobby instead of being there for his loved one. Do you guys want to see him back in the potential continuation? Let us know. Another actor we believe is not coming back is Robert James Collier as Thomas Barrow. At the end of the sequel, Barrow leaves Downton with Dominic West's Guy Dexter so they can live together in America. This also means that Dominic West is unlikely to return in the third film. We don't expect to see Hugh Dancy as Jack Barber and Laura Haddock as Marina Dalagesh since their stories are given a conclusion. The same goes for Natalie and Jonathan. When it comes to the potential sequel's plot, we have no idea what fellows will come up with this time, but perhaps he'll write a story with World War II in mind? Do you guys have any theories? What are your hopes for the third film? Let us know in the comment section down below and if you enjoyed our video, make sure you subscribe to our channel so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. As always, thanks for watching.